Hey, what's going on? I'm Matt O'Leary back with another video and today I'll be talking about Marcus May's contract situation. Before we get started, just wanted to mention you can follow me on social media at Matt O'Leary and why if you haven't already, please make sure to check out the Just Jets podcast wherever it is that you get your podcast. You could also check out the Just Jets clips channel where I post little snippets of the show if you don't want to sit through a whole podcast episode. Believe me, I get it. So I cut it up, give you little highlights throughout the week uh, and there's a giveaway. So if you subscribe to this channel and the Just Jets Clips channel, when this one, Ben O'Leary NY, reaches 10,000 subscribers, we're at 957 as of yesterday. Slow build, but we're getting there. Uh, I'll be giving away a Zach Wilson jersey and two packages from Manscaped. So you're going to want to get in on this. Subscribe to both. Comment done when you're done, and I appreciate you. And I'll pick three randos, so good luck. Okay, here's a quote from NFL Draft Bites on Twitter. He says, Jets Joe Douglas. Do not cave to the agent community or the players. Marcus May is 28, not 25. Do not pay players in their late 20s, and it's okay to admit it's their fault they're old. Management. Let's talk about it. Should the New York Jets let Marcus May just go after this after this year on the franchise tag or give him a new contract? Well, let's talk through it and try to come through a rational conclusion together. So heading into the 2021 season, he is about to play on his age 28 season on a one-year deal franchise tag at $10.6 million. So under the assumption that he plays out this year, you could either franchise tag him again for his age 29 season, or you can give him a long-term deal at age 29, or not necessarily long-term deal, but just any kind of other contract at that point. And I understand a lot of people are going to say, well, how many good secondary people are there above 30 years old? Well, at 33, Malcolm Jenkins got a four-year deal. He's a safety. He was with the New Orleans Saints, then went to the Eagles, and then went back to the New Orleans Saints, and the Saints are the ones who gave him that contract. Devin McCourty is someone who has gotten uh, contracts over the age of 30. Harrison Smith is 32 years old and still a productive safety. So I don't necessarily think that it's, you know, as much as maybe – the corners you don't want to sign at 30 years old. I think you can get away with it at safety a little bit. So me personally, I think it would make sense to sign Marcus May even after this year for his age 29, 30 and 31 year old season. So that's a three year deal. And I think somewhere maybe around $11 million a year. So what $33 million over three years that would put him as the ninth highest paid safety in the NFL. How did he do in most recent years? Well, let's take a look at his numbers. Last year, 82.9 pro football focus grade. That was the fifth highest grade for a safety. He had an 85.8 coverage grade. Very good in coverage. Over the last three years, 82.9, 74.5, and 80 flat. He's been a productive player since coming into this league. Is he Jamal Adams? No, different kind of player. He's better in coverage, maybe not as versatile. He plays at a Pro Bowl level at the safety position. So I understand some people's fear. And normally, yeah, I agree that you shouldn't necessarily be pay paying players at 29, 30, 31 necessarily. But the situation with Marcus May is a little bit different. He's been here through some really bad years. He was drafted older. He's 24 years old when he was drafted. Thank you, Mike McCagnan, for drafting old players. But that could maybe play in his favor. Hear me out a second. He doesn't have as much mileage on him at 28 years old as most other 28 year olds have because he's only been in the league for four years. And when you look at what the New York Jets defense is going to look like, they don't really have a ton of players that they're going to have to pay significant money that they drafted. Quinn and Williams is probably the next one due up after Marcus May. Who else is there? On the offensive side, you don't have to worry about Zach Wilson for a long time. Denzel Mims has still got a couple of more years, three more years before he's due a new contract. Chris Herndon, are you worried about signing Chris Herndon at the end of the year? Like, there's really not a scenario where it's like, oh, you can't pay Marcus May because you're going to have to pay this other guy. You could afford him. They have a ton of cap space. They're going to have a ton of cap space after this year. And you should probably set the precedent that if you come here drafted, play well, do your job, be a good soldier that we will reward you for it. That's not what Jamal Adams was. Sure, he was a great player, but he didn't go about the process the right way in terms of trying to get paid, and he forced his hand to, for the Jets to trade him. And guess what? Joe Douglas got phenomenal value for it, and now he's Seattle's problem. Where Marcus May, sure, I'm, I bet he's not happy about being franchise tagged, but guess what? He showed up. He was there at camp, and he will be there at training camp. 
So he's going about it the right way. He understands that he's on the older side, I'm sure. But I'm really not worried about his game falling off a cliff. I think he will be fine. I'm not saying give him a five-year deal and pay him to 33 years old. But you're telling me that a 29, 30, and 31-year-old Marcus May still can't be a top 10 safety in the NFL? I don't believe that for a second. Sometimes it's easy to just have the blanket statements and, and, and stick by it. So you never pay someone over 27 years old or whatever for the secondary uh, but sometimes you need a little bit more context. So hopefully this video provided you with more context. You guys let me know what you think. Should the New York Jets pay Marcus May? Should they just let him ride out on the franchise tag and let him walk? Should they trade him? What should the New York Jets do? Get at me on the comments or on social media at Matt O'Leary and why. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new and I'll talk to you next time.